Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. Please don't mind my voice. This is gonna be a really chill video where I'm just gonna be trying some new elf stuff, kind of get ready with me style, but I'm still gonna put in some swatch comparisons, things like that as we go through. I didn't know if I was gonna get a video up today uh, because my voice <laughs> is so bad. I'm pushing through, hopefully with some rest tonight though. I can recover this voice. This is just from screaming at Disneyland, seriously. <laughs> Who knew that Splash Mountain literally gets you soaking wet now and that was the first way we started off with the for the day and it was a <laughs> disaster anyway I shouldn't be chatting too much over my freaking voice I picked up some of the new stuff from elf so I have this this is the power grip primer but it's the one with niacinamide I decided to try that out I have two sheets of the luminous putty bronzer I'm really excited for those because I love the original putty bronzer I think the last thing for like new products is this roller lash dupe this is called lash and roll it's different and then I did pick up this green stick so I think I'm gonna make an eye look like kind of monochromatic with this so those are the main oh no there's one more I also did this came in stock that was part of the reason I also made this order the halo glow liquid filter let me get the Charlotte Tilbury one so we can get a color comparison hold on all right let's start with this primer though I've never had the original so I don't know how I'm gonna like this but I thought I would give it a go I know it's supposed to be kind of like the milk makeup one this feels like I'm putting gel on my friggin face Oh, it's a weird feeling. <laughs> it's sticky. It's sticky. You know how sticky it gets. Let's try to rub that in. I feel like it's oh, it's so gross. This feels like when you put um your hands in glue and then peel the glue off. Like that's the feeling I'm getting. Texturally, absolutely hate. It. Absolutely hate. It. This seems like it could be a, a brow gel product. All right, well, it's on. I'm gonna let it dry down a little so it's not so sticky. I think that's like the point. I mean, it's called Power Grip, but too much, too much. Okay, let's see how these compare. I have the number one shade in the Charlotte Tilbury. I was really uh, impressed with the packaging on this. It's like an actual glass bottle. Like for it being the price that it is, I was really happy. Oh, color difference though, color difference. I heard from you guys that there was a color difference. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury in one, and this is the Elf. Look how orange. Look how orange that is. You know, sometimes when you put that type of color though on your face, it doesn't like show up as much. So I'm still gonna go in like totally with it, but color wise, definitely very off, but it seemed like the actual shine was okay. Like that seemed okay or not so off. I don't love the doe foot as much and you know, and Elf's just been duping everything lately. I mean, they've kind of always done that, but I feel like lately they're really picking some high tier products that people love and like duping the shit out of them. I'm gonna use this to just kind of blend this in and see how it goes. It was kind of hard to get anything off the doe foot. Like only on the tip did the doe foot really have anything, but I feel like although it looked really orange, I definitely don't notice that like actually in application. I was excited for this Halo Glow dupe. Like when I saw it, I was like, that's awesome. Like that's gonna be a hit if it's not absolute shit, you know? It's gonna be a hit if it's not shit. But the type of person I am, like I don't have a problem with brands duping things out. But over the years I have learned that I tend to like the original of something. Like if I can save up, I tend to like to do that. I just know in my heart of hearts, like I'll never, I'll always wanna know. I'll always wanna know what the original was. And with some of these prices, it's like you might be saving money if it suffices. And if you can kind of get over the fact that it's not the original, then yeah, you could save some money. But if you try dupe after dupe after dupe after dupe of the one product you want and they're all cheaper, sometimes they just add up to the price of the real product. So you just have to kind of make that decision. I just learned that over time. But some people are totally fine with dupes from the beginning. So it just depends on who you are. This is like 15 or so dollars. But this is what it's looking like. Definitely glowy. And I felt like it blended out pretty nice on the primer too. The real test will be the foundation. I'm going to use my Salt New York. I got a re-up of this. They're doing like buy three, get three on the site. So if you ever wanted to try it, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. And it seems like they're doing it for the holidays, like through the holidays. So it might be nice. This has a little bit of glow to its itself but I've just been loving how easy this is and I don't have to worry about it looking bad on my skin like it never shows up cakey it just kind of is a little dewy that's like the one thing the trade-off is not cakey but just a little 
dewy. It doesn't last a super long time without me touching up. For just chilling, you know, days chilling around the house and not really doing a ton out, it's not a big deal. And I really love that. I feel put together, but I don't really feel like I have a ton of stuff on. That's like one half of my face done, so. You know, still really natural, but definitely more perfected. And then I do have mine in a case. This doesn't fit it like 100%. I mean, it fits it really nicely, but there's still some issues like when I open it, every time I have to kind of like finesse it. But this is from Mob Beauty and these little cases are five bucks. So I like that I can have it in a compact. Thought I would just mention that in case anyone wondered. I'm gonna put on some concealer. I'm using this one from LYS and this actually came in my BoxyCharm. Imagine that, an actually good product. These are the products I'm like, thank goodness. <laughs> I get to try this out, like an actual good one. So I think that's it. I have this little spot here, so gross. And then I'm just gonna blend that out actually with this brush. This is a highlighter brush, but I don't care. I just wanna get to that bronzer. I'm gonna set everything just a little. I know it's a cream bronzer, but I haven't ever had an issue doing this. And I mostly just set the center of my face. Okay, bronzer done. I got two shades. I got the lightest shade, which seemed kind of like the contour, kind of like how the other bronzer is, and then I got the second lightest. So this one, the contour type shade is called Vacay Mood. I'm going to swatch it next to the other one. I thought it was interesting they did such a like cooler contour color in the luminous finish because, you know, I feel like the idea of a contour is definitely not to shine, but I don't know, okay, whatever. And then I'm gonna compare that to the shade Feeling Shady. Oh yeah, these definitely feel like a little bit drier. So that's Feeling Shady, the cream one. This is the luminous one. Very similar in tone. This one, I don't know, they both kind of have some warmth when you move them around, but I think that the luminous one does have a little bit more warmth to it. That might just be the shine though. I might use that one like more in my hollows. Ooh, this is the other one. Looks a little warm. This one's called like Bronzant Pate, Bronzant Pat. I'm not, mm, don't ask me you guys, I'm so sorry. So there it is, definitely luminous, like definitely has a sheen to it. I'm actually getting a little nervous. I, th I was really excited, but now I'm like, wait, wait, <laughs> wait. This is the one that I have, the second lightest shade. Definitely different colors here, look at that. So that is the second lightest shade in the bronzer, the regular putty bronzer, and this is that luminous one. So it kind of looks like a highlighter, but not like highlighter-y enough. So it's gonna be a moment. I'm actually more excited for the lightest shade, that contour looking shade, than I am the other bronzer because that one's so kind of warm, almost red looking, which is kind of my curse, honestly. I'm gonna zoom us out just a little so you can see my head. I'm gonna pin back my hair. Don't mind my hair, seriously. It looks a little bit. It's rough today. I'm gonna use the contour first. Let's see, I'm just using this little brush here. This is from Ruffer. I think that's nice. I like this color. It's a little like undead, but not too bad. And I don't think the sheen is bad on this one because actually the color. Yeah, this definitely seems like it's gonna be the best one for me. I'm still gonna put the other one just on my forehead a little, see how it goes. But I, I do have a feeling this is gonna be a little much. Let's see, maybe if I just go gently though. not the worst I feel like this would definitely be a better color for me when I'm like actually tan like my actual self <laughs> it'll blend in I think a little bit easier and it's a lot more sheer than even in the swatch I built up which actually is really helping I don't see like a ton of luminosity but I'm also pretty just luminous in general because I am using the elf halo glow and all that which I do feel like everything's looking a little bit heavy right now I'm gonna tap a little bit of this on my nose and just see Definitely picked up a lot of product on my nose, but hmm, hmm. I do think at this moment in time, I think I prefer actually the original. I am excited to keep trying this color though, although it's like, it is a weird shade to me. Like I know it's a contour and for people who are really fair and love that contoured look. And even on my skin, it did warm up more than I expected. But yeah, this is actually the one I think might work best for me. Interesting. I was excited for these. So I'll definitely have to keep you updated. I like to use my products quite a few times. Like really wanna know before I like tell you what I think, what it is 
how it goes, you know, you know. All right, I'm gonna put on some blush. I did pull out my cream blushes and I also pulled out some powder. So I think I'm gonna use this one, the Maui shade first as my cream blush. I believe this is the luminous finish too. Maybe I should quit with the luminous while I'm ahead, but why not? This is like almost the full face of highlighter challenge, isn't it? <laughs> but I wanted something lighter than Bali, which is um, in the matte formula, or just the cream formula. But since I know I want to put a powder on, I thought I would just use this one. All right, so that's the blush. I really love these little blushes. I think I'm gonna go in Spiced Apple. Spiced Apple's always the one I like am drawn to. I also have this one in Lychee. That one's also, maybe I'll do Lychee as the blush. All right, that's the blush. I know it looks like a lot and that's cause it is. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of this highlighter from this blush duo. This one is the shade Watermelon. I'm gonna take this light pink side. This looks more pink than it I feel like shows up on my skin. Yeah, it always shows up a lot more icy. Look at that, look at that shine. It does show texture a little, but it's still really pretty. I'm gonna use my brow duo. Actually the Persona brow products, they're doing like a five days of Christmas or something like that. And the brow products today were the ones on sale. So if you were wanting to pick these up, might be a good time to get them. I think they're half off. I'm using the shade Cool Brown right now. That's the one I use for camera. But then in real life, I feel like Warm Brown looks good on me. I don't love Blonde. That's the only one. It just was a little green, like almost kind of olive -y, So it was not my color, but I do really like this formula. And it's what I'm wearing in most of my videos. Okay, I just powdered again, so that way it looked a little smoother. I'm feeling like there's a lot of texture, which could be a lot of things. I do get texture sometimes even with just the regular Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm gonna test the e.l.f. one more and more and more and really see. So far, like first impressions though, I would say I do prefer the Charlotte Tilbury. I know that it's a di way different price though. Like it's like three times the price of the e.l.f. one. This, look at this, look at this color, you guys. I'm so excited to use it. This is the shade Lava Lamp. Oh, I hope that it goes on. On, like nice and opaque. This is all I'm using to prime my lid, so we'll see how it goes. Ah, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna blend out with my finger and I might go in with a second layer, it just depends. I feel like it's even kind of staying as I'm blending out, which I'm pretty happy with. It's a big old green eye. We're doing a very green look. I'm gonna top this with one of my Moira shadows that I got recently. It has like a duochrome kind of golden green thing. I have a feeling it's gonna look so good. And then I'm gonna put the highlighter that I have down now, just so I can kind of blend the edges with it. And I'm gonna actually use my, my normal highlighter I would use, not the e.l.f. one, just because I know how this one works a little better. All right, now for the Moira shadow, I'm using the shade OMG. I did a look with this the other day and it looks so good. So I think it's gonna look so awesome over this base. And I'm just tapping that literally like over everything. It's still kind of tacky. So it's gonna hopefully hold on to this shadow really well. I mean, easy fun look, what a fun look. You could always like deepen the outer corner if you want. I think I'm gonna leave it kind of blown out. That was the vision. I had was just kind of green, <laughs> green everywhere. I'm lining just a little bit with that pixie liner in Rose Glow. Okay, now time for the lashes. I have not used roller lash in a long time, so I'm not gonna be like a reliable source to be like how comparable it is to specifically roller lash. So we're just gonna see if it's fucking good. Like, is it good or not good? Like, whether it's comparable or not, does this mascara suck or is it good? I guess we'll find out. It does have like this curved wand. So I think that is how roller lashes as well. It's also how the Tower 28 one is, the new one that I really love called Make Waves, so. 
feel like this shape does me well. All right, there's one done and it looks fine. I'm not the biggest fan of it so far. I don't mind the brush necessarily, but I do feel like the formula is maybe a little thin and then it's like kind of making my lashes look a little stringy. You know, I always say this, you know, I've been lucky lately, like liking mascaras on the first go around, but that is not normally the case for me. So I will of course keep testing it, but just right off, it almost feels like there's like not enough product on here. I wish that the bristles had like more in them um, as I'm like putting it on and it's kind of stiff. Like, I don't know. It's like a little clumpy also. Definitely not the best first impression for me personally, to me personally. And this seems like it's gonna dry stiff as a motherfucking board. Like crispy lashes, get ready for crispy crunchy lashes, dead spider legs all over your lashes. Is that how the roller lashes? Oh, I got myself. I thought I could make it through, but stab myself in the eye. Well, that is the eye look. So I really love the color. I love the shadow stick. I'm gonna finish up with some lips. And the gloss, I thought I would keep it drugstore. I'm using the Maybelline uh, Lifter Gloss. And this is the shade Stone. Lots of product on that brush. All right, let me try to like make my hair look not horrible and then we'll talk about some of the products. Okay, the hair's like the cutest it's gonna get. Like it's the cutest it's gonna get. So I forgot, this is the eye look up close if you wanted to see it. Two shadows plus highlighter, that's it. Super simple, but really pretty, you know? I think these washes of colors, single shadow monochromatic looks can be really impactful. You could do a brighter lip if you want still because I feel like it's not too complicated. And I like that extra pop that green's giving to this shadow because without it, it wouldn't be as green. So I love that. I love how all the colors look together. I feel like my skin looks a little textured. It could be a couple different things though. You know, it's a lot of glow. <laughs> There's a lot of glow going on in general. So we'll have to just see what products are actually working and what works best together. So let's talk about that. So far, I am intrigued by this e.l.f. Halo Glow. I think it could be a good option if you want something comparable, but you don't wanna spend this money, but this is not like cheap, you know? This is like 15 bucks. It's in nice packaging though, I do love that. The color's a little bit dark, but I didn't find that to be an issue like absolutely at all as I was blending it out. So I'm gonna keep testing, we'll see. I know a lot of people really love it though. I mean, it's been out a while, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not new on that shit. This, ooh, I, I feel like everything went on fine once it dried down, but texturally, it's a lot for me to get over the stickiness um you know <laughs> it feels like something's wrong it feels like this should not be on your face but i'm gonna keep trying it and maybe i'll just like get over it maybe just you know I'll become used to it this tactile weird experience but who knows who knows we'll see I'm interested to see if I get oily. Really, that's like one of the things. So I'm gonna keep trying it with some foundations I really know well that don't make me as oily, that type of stuff so I can see. Cause if it can control my oil, I would be more willing to get over the stickiness to be honest, I would. <laughs> that might be the thing that really, you know, solidifies it for me. For the Luminous Putty Bronzers, I, mm, I think I like the original better just because, you know, I like a cream formula. I like a shimmery bronzer, don't get me wrong. So this one might be more Helpful for me once we get into a little bit of warmer weather. Maybe it'll look really great then. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna keep trying them. The contour looks pretty good as well though. It's just when I think of which one I prefer, like these are fine. I don't have any issues necessarily with them being luminous. I'm just like, hmm. I thought I'd like those more. I think I might like just the, the original better for every day. And you know, I don't know if I'm gonna reach for these over them. Like I'm only gonna reach for one, either the luminous or this. And I think at this moment, first impressions, I'm gonna go for the original over these, but I'll keep you updated as I continue to use them. Maybe I'll find a way, maybe the right season. We'll have to see. You already know I love this stick, you guys. This stick is nice. I think Lava Lamp is really pretty. It reminds me of something from About Face or Half Magic Beauty, like definitely those vibes. And you know, it could be maybe more bright, more opaque, but for five doll hairs, 
<laughs> now that's a good price. That's a really good price. And then last to me, this is probably the biggest disappointment out of everything because I just didn't love the way I was, you know, it was going on. My lashes feel a little crunchy. They felt like they were getting a little spidery and spindly and it was just kind of rough and stiff at the same time on my lashes. Like the actual application of it was not very fun. It feels like a little dry. And so as I'm like trying to build it up, it's like making everything skinny, but also kind of patchy and clumpy along the way. But I will keep you updated again. Sometimes you just need a little bit of time with the mascara. You get used to it. You like learn its little quirks and then you become like best friends. So maybe that's what will happen with this. But I have had some really good experiences with mascaras that are way more expensive, mind you. So there is that. And I believe this is really inexpensive. I'll find the exact price. $6. I mean, $6 is a very good price for mascara. Even some of the stuff at the drugstore is turning up into like $10, you know? I'm gonna keep that in mind as I use it. Like, I like my stuff to perform like high-end if I can, but you know, for a staple product that's $6, if it gets the job done, if I start liking it more and more, I'm definitely gonna factor in that $6 price point instead of like a $20 mascara or even the Gucci one I really like, which is like, I think 30, 35. So you could have a year's worth of this mascara <laughs> for the price of like one of those. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've tried any of these, what are your thoughts? Let me know. What are you loving from e.l.f.? What are your favorite products from e.l.f.? I definitely feel like they're one of the drugstore brands I, I look out for and I enjoy trying. So I'd love to know what you love, what you think of these products. Let us know. Fingers crossed my voice is better with some rest and I can do my palette declutter tomorrow, hopefully. That's what I wanted to do today, but I did not want a whole video of this voice decluttering. Oh my gosh, like you guys would have nice nightmares, okay? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.